Earlier this week, media reports indicated that several officials from the Electoral Commission had been fired on orders of the President for their involvement in irregular procurement deals and corruption. The officials include Sam Rakojo, the Secretary of the Commission, Pontius Namugera, the Director of Technical Services, Jotham Talemwa, the Head of Public Relations, and Godfrey Wanyoto, the Principal Procurement Officer. The Chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Justice Simon Biabakama, has denied the reports that the officials were sacked. The following staff have tendered in their application for early retirement from the Commission on a personal ground. The modalities for them to hand over their respective offices is ongoing. Justice Biabakam also denied having any knowledge of an investigation by the Inspector General of Government into the activities of the Electoral Commission, which could have led to the resignation of the four officials. Uh, it was alleging, it was having a number of allegations against uh, officials in the Electoral Commission, and some of them were to do with illicit enrichment, some were to do with uh, corruption. But I have not, I do not know whether they say the SAID investigations have any link or nexus to the act of the officers in retiring from the institution. I have no evidence in that regard. Justice Biabakama says the commission has already started the process of filling the positions left empty by the departure of the four officials. The positions cannot remain vacant. The commission is in the process of identifying uh, possible replacements, at least in the short term, so as to enable uh, the work that these officers have been performing in their dockets to run. The chairperson has also clarified that the process for procuring the company to print ballot papers was ongoing. We have not yet awarded that contract to any particular individual or person. So that's what I want you to know. While the Electoral Commission says its officials resigned for personal reasons, the timing of their departure still leaves more questions than answers. Juma Kiria, NTV.